everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make some oatmeal raisin ice cream. This is a no churn ice cream recipe so you don't need an ice cream maker. So I'm going to show you how to make it at home. Let's get started. All right, I've got everything that I need for my ice cream laid out on the table. To my mixing bowl, I'm going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk. Next, I'm going to add one egg yolk. One teaspoon of vanilla. And lastly, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Just going to whisk those all together. Now in my stand mixer, I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. If you don't have a stand mixer, don't worry, you can use a hand mixer instead. So I'm gonna whip these to a stiff peak. Now it looks like my heavy cream is to a stiff peak, but I'm gonna check it. So I'm just gonna take my attachment, my whisk, and go straight down into the, the heavy cream and come right up. So right now it's at a soft peak. It's, the tip has slightly bent over, so I'm gonna whip it for just a few more minutes. Not even minutes, maybe seconds. I'm gonna do it for another 30 seconds. Let's try one more time. You see how it sticks straight up? That's exactly what you want. That's gonna be a stiff peak. Now I have my base mixture here with my cinnamon and my uh, evaporated, sorry, not evaporated, Lord, <laughs> with my sweetened condensed milk. Set my whisk aside here. Now to this, I'm gonna start adding sections of the heavy whipping cream to lighten it up. You wanna do a third the first time, and you're just gonna fold that into the mixture. And the goal of this is to keep as much air in the mixture as possible, and that's what's gonna make your ice cream light and fluffy. Now the egg yolk that we added in here earlier, you do not have to add the egg yolk. However, it is beneficial that you do, um, simply because it adds a smoother texture to the, uh, to the ice cream. And it makes it a little bit more richer. So think Briars versus Bluebell. Bluebell has egg yolks in it, and that makes it very rich and what people call the, the homemade touch. Add another third. Now as I'm folding, I'm twisting the bowl. That just gives your, your fold a little bit more momentum. And then I'm gonna add my last third here. Just lightly and gently look through to make sure you don't have any clumps of heavy whipping cream that aren't mixed in. Very gently, you don't wanna knock the air out of this, so you don't wanna over mix it and be too rough with it. 
don't see any, so we're ready to put it in our bowl and start layering our cookies in. So I've got my bowl here. This is a, this is actually a gallon ice cream bucket, like a reusable one that my dad gave me. At one point I was making a lot of ice cream for him and his coworkers at his job. Um, so he bought me like six of these reusable gallon ice cream buckets so that he could just take that, bring it back, wash it and give it to me so I could put more ice cream in it. But anyways, so you're just gonna take a little bit of your mixture. Layer that on the bottom. And then I've got six oatmeal raisin cookies. And I'm just gonna start crumbling those on top. Now your crumbles can be as thick or as small as you want, but I find that a nice variety is key and keep them on the smaller side because you are going to be scooping this out later. Add another layer on top. And our mix, the reason I wanted the stiff peaks is because now the mix is thick enough to where it'll hold the cookies up and the cookies won't all sink to the bottom. Don't want it to be really runny or thin because then it won't hold the cookies up. You'll just have cookies on the bottom and no cookies on the top. And that's a sad bowl of ice cream. Last cookie. Now I've got my layers in here. I'm just gonna take my spatula and give it a nice little stir. Not too much. We've already made those layers, but you just wanna disrupt them just a bit. Now it's all done and ready to be frozen. This is gonna freeze overnight. And then the next day you'll have some delicious ice cream you can enjoy. Now this does not have any artificial softeners or preservatives in there. So you will need to sit it out about five to 10 minutes before you get a scoop because it can freeze hard, um, but that's okay. We don't have anything artificial in here and this is very like homemade from the spirit. So that's how things usually are. I've got some ice cream that I made yesterday. So now it's frozen and ready for me to try today. Someone has already been in it. I won't mention any names, but my boyfriend seems to have already gotten into it and loves it. <laughs> so let me see how it tastes. Yep. That's a good one. This is so good. Everybody that I tell this ice cream about or make it for, that first when I say oatmeal raisin, they're always like, are you sure? Oatmeal raisin? Oh no. And then they try it and they're like, oh my goodness, when can I get some more? Do yourself a favor, y'all. Make this ice cream at home. It's very easy, it takes 15 minutes, and it's delicious. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for another recipe. Thanks.